What's going on everybody? It's McFly here. Uh, so our first thing I want to say is for all of you that watched my last video that commented that showed me so much love. I really do appreciate you guys so much. The amount of love and comments and just overall praise for my high run video was amazing and I had to take a step back. Very much an out of, out of body experience. Forgive me if I've kind of been not posting videos. I just kind of needed to like take that in and uh, appreciate it. I do appreciate that. Normally I wouldn't do two of the same artists or like do the same type of video in a row, but uh, you guys have been spamming me with more Ren, more Ren. So um, what I'm going to do is instead of my friend, like for high Ren, he did send me a list of ones to do in order. He told me to do right after high Ren to do Sick Boy since it came out after and it's supposed to be a direct, uh, you know, sequel to that storyline wise. So we're going to be listening to Sick Boy today. I'm excited. Uh, people were saying in the comments that this is a good one to see kind of his chops as uh, a rapper. Apparently he produces all the beats and, and does all the mixing. So I'm excited to see this. This also has 2 million, almost 2 million views right now. So um, this looks like it's going to be a good one. I'm excited to see his rapping chops because that was something I was wanting to look at. So without further ado, let's get into it. The, the violins, the strings. Hi, Ren. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your that physical body. Northern Have Ireland, you actually. Of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Okay. First thing I want to say is my expertise in music kind of stops in production. However, I do have a good enough ear to kind of give my opinion on what I think. It already sounds like the mix is a little bit louder than the voices. You could barely hear her. Knowing Red and just from High Red and how everything was kind of calculated and, and intentional, I'm assuming that that's kind of a way to portray to the audience that this is how it is in his head. He can barely hear what she's saying. He can barely hear what the doctors are telling him. There's so much going on. His head, his mind is so loud to him that it's very hard for him to hear what, what the doctors are saying. So... Um, I, again, I do. I think that's intentional. I want to represent as an art artist, you want to portray to the audience how it is for you, especially for Ren when he's doing these type of artistic uh, styles of, uh, you know, his songs. Right. And again, I'm assuming from high Ren and that this is going to transfer in over. But let's continue. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect in our biology. Essentially, your mind is meant for music. Damn. It looks like the same set as High Ren 2. I like the spotlight on him to show him that, like, he's alone. What was that? Is that the pig again? Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy. Looking All right. for that fixed boy, anabolic steroids. Damn okay. so I'm going to be stopping this one, I think. So, a couple of things here. Uh, uh, let me go back. So when he comes in and starts rapping, sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tank boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, them so post a boy, boss. especially right there. So I don't know if it's maybe just my eyes playing tricks on me, but I feel like it's either filmed at low or like a lower frames per second, or they filmed him doing this rap sped up but he seems very twitchy or he's just good at acting which is also a possibility but he seems very twitchy when he's doing this rap again going along the lines with his essentially him kind of going crazy and what's going on in his mind but he seems very twitchy i want to talk about the lyrics he said looking for a fixed boy i'm gonna assume that that is a double meaning not only is he obviously probably already addicted to the drugs that they're giving him right but the fix is not just the fix for the like a fix of drugs but also, he wants to be fixed. Both his, you know, his mental state, his physical state, all of those things. So, already comes some cool, some cool wordplay. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna try again and not. Uh, it's only four, three minutes, so I'm gonna try and not talk too much. Let's go. I like that choir in the background too. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tank boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, them so post a boy, pass out, white noise, Man. quick fix, snake oil, I'm about to break boy, oh, what a 
a shame, he's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Yeah. The realization that I'm patient, losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with the medication, inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, building up a toleration. Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown. Okay, there's so much to unpack. <laughs> I feel like I need to, like, let me look up the lyrics. So, yeah, he said, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, stem cell poster boy. I know he's in, you know, getting stem cell right now for the uh, Lyme disease. Pass out, white noise, quick fix snake oil. Snake oil, if you guys, those of you who aren't aware, snake oil salesman is kind of saying, like, it's a, it's a scam, right? Snake oil doesn't do anything for you. So he's essentially saying that these meds aren't doing anything for him, but they're still pushing it down his throat. And she was obviously like smiling, giving him the medicine, saying, here, take, just take some more. You'll be fine. And then talking about the side effects, how it's good. He's going to be worse after the side effects. Right. And we've all seen the commercials like, oh, you want to be treated for acne? Awesome. You, you can take these pills. But the side effects could include anal leakage. Right. I don't want my butthole bleeding because I'm trying to fix my <laughs> my acne. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? In all seriousness, like, this is a huge, this is, this is real. Like, again, this is real coming from Ren, where the medical industry, right, is always under scrutiny for pushing drugs because of the money. All they want is money. Obviously, he's desperate. He has no, nothing else to try. So they're going to, he's kind of at the mercy of them. Derealization, medical patient, losing patience with the process walking hand in hand with Satan. Yeah, because he's starting to go crazy from all of the stuff going on. Complication with the medication, inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, making it hard to breathe, building up toleration. Now he's going to need more medicine. He's going to need to take in more medicine. And this whole thing is just going to impact or impound and, and get worse and worse and worse. Been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. That's a heavy line right there. That could be multiple things. He's feel like he's drowning with everything in his mind, all the sounds going on in his mind, all the voices, or he's drowning with all of the medication he's taking because we all know that especially like antidepressant medications will make you feel like you're a zombie, like you're drowning in yourself because you know, all of that, none of the feelings are there with, with antidepression medication. And sometimes they make it worse. Most of the time they do make it worse. All right, let's continue. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to talk a lot, but... I'm sorry. Last thing. Uh, I see the... Most rappers do this where they have like a secondary vocal track kind of wrapping the same vocals in the back just to kind of like give that intensity to the to the rap, right? But his is more of like a high tone, devilish, uh, menacing tone, right? Which again follows in suit with his mind going crazy, right? Man, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound. I've been right there. For a way out, but I always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I no. think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try There's to pinpoint the, the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you Pig means gluttony, right? So it's like greed. I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. Even what I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In even the out. table isn't stable. <laughs> like, to show how he's in unstable, even the table's unstable. Out. Good. There's the now pig again. The first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's it. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. Ooh. Science tell us that it's suicide and we still commit. Ran with the bars, man. Yeah, that's... That's that's heavy. He, he said, it's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize commoditize it we just consume we destroy we're like we're parasitic 100 percent, man like now instead of you know the problem he's the problem he's crazy now he's he's turned it around on them right he's saying that basically the medical industry the society as a whole is parasitic you know we use all the resources everything's about making the most money in spite of everybody else and mostly he's talking about the medical industry it looks like here but 
Science tells us that it's suicide and still we commit. Man. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we commit. I'm not sick, we are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick, I'm the virus, you're the virus hypocrite. How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick boy. Record label meetings that commodify your gift boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? <laughs> Dude, these lyrics. I don't want to go on a huge tangent, but this, this, I said this in my last one about music nowadays is not having like any meaning and being stale, right? So much feeling is going into this. You know, he's he, he's talking about the now he's going in and and again going in on the uh, music industry and talking about how they take your gift and they commoditize it. Oh, you're sick. Damn. Well, hopefully you put that into your music because that's going to make some money and we're going to make sure that we takes all that money from you. Who cares how you're feeling? We just want to use you for your for your for the money you'll make us. Right. That's 100 percent the music industry. Believe me when I say that when people when indie artists and artists who aren't in the business complain about the business, it's not just because they couldn't they can't make it or they couldn't make it. There's a reason they talk about it. Um, so I'm glad that he's going in on the mill as well because they 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 deserve it again said looking for a fix boy push it down in public quick pose for the pick boy yeah you gotta push it down in public for the record label right you gotta look like you're happy look like you love what you do who care if, even if you have all these issues going on you gotta hide it gotta hide it in public and then it said why are you so upset do you want to be a rich boy let's see boy, sick boy looking for a fix boy push it down in public quick pose for the pick boy record label meetings that come on the fire your gift boy why this beat's so sick upset? by the way you want to be a rich boy Industry is Okay, <laughs> so we got another banger from from Ren. You know what's crazy is like, while the tone is the tone is the same, right? He's talking about mental health. He's talking about his struggles. He's talking about having to take all these pills and being like they don't. Nobody has his back, right? The medical industry is just using him for the money. Tech, the medical industry is using him for the money, right? They're not backing him up. They're not there for him. It's all about the greed that, and I think that the pig that he keeps portraying in these videos is the medical industry are pigs because pig signifies gluttony. It signifies greed. It signifies them only being in it for the money, right? That's this whole theme right here. The tone of this, while pretty much the same in as it was in High Ren, is very. It's a very different song. Before it had rap elements, I would say High Ren is kind of in its own little genre. I saw it some, some areas saying it was folk, which I kind of actually get, but it's amazing to see that he can kind of, you know, swerve through all these different genres. And so far, it looks like he can do them all, honestly. This is what we're missing in music. We're missing people who can connect with other people and show that they also go through these things and sh show other people like, hey, there's other people out there that are having similar struggles to you. And I got through it. And this is how I dealt with it. And these are the struggles that I went through. It's amazing. I love what Ren's doing right now. The two songs in, I love what Ren's doing. And I know I jokingly kind of said, oh, this is my favorite artist, but he's at the very least the favorite artist I've come across in like the last decade. 100% he is. I want to talk about the music. That's what we do on this channel. With hip hop, it's a little bit different because there's not really chord structures per se, um, but there are beats and stuff. I do think it's pretty crazy that he made the beats for this and i i heard a little bit at the end there a little bit of beatboxing which is again just another thing to put in his talent basket he's amazing me with his talent a lot of good hip-hop artists especially in the underground and indie scene for the last decade and this beat sounds very similar to those kind of beats something i would hear in like grime sayers entertainment like atmosphere and and mers and stuff i don't know if you guys know who though who those people are but they would have similar beats to this kind of back in the day the beat should change depending on what you're talking about and he did a very good job of bringing it down and having kind of the choir the in the background making sound really eerie when the medical professional was talking when it came to him talking it was very chaotic you had the strings in there and you had 
a very intense, hard hitting bass, bass beat. Again, little things that you can do in hip hop, because there's not a lot going on musically in hip hop, but a, a stuff you can do in hip hop that make the music go through, right? Really cool, really cool to see that Ren the, can in fact rap and he can definitely spit rhymes, right? I, I wasn't surprised he could spit rhymes. Obviously he's a poet with, not only with just the entirety of hiring, but at the very end, the way he was speaking was very poetic. And I think good poets can also, I think good hip hop artists can also be poets and vice versa, right? Tupac's kind of the poster boy for that. He was a poet and then he became an artist. He became kind of a hip hop legend that way. I want to talk about the very end. He was talking about people basically taking all resources. Uh, he said, we bleed it for wealth. We bleed it for fame. But when we bleed it, can you tell me what the F will remain? We, we take, not only do we take resources from the earth, but we do that with people as well, right? Then companies and corporations and businesses, big businesses like medical industry, again, and the, the uh, music industry, we take people's talents, we bleed them of all the resources until they can't go anymore just to make as much money as we can. And then go, comes full circle from going, going from it being his problem to being everybody else's problem to now back to being his problem. He says, I bleed in my brain while I'm bleeding. I'm the reason because I'm doing the same. He's saying that now he's falling under everybody else. He's doing what they're doing to him. He's doing it to his own self, right? It's powerful. It's essentially like he's falling into their trap and he's allowing it to happen. Essentially is what he's saying there. He's, he's letting the, the medical industry, music industry get to the best of him. And he's kind of now doing it to himself. Crazy, crazy high. <laughs> I want to, I want, honestly, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to film this. I'm going to click end and I'm going to go into the next one that we're going to do. Um, I think you guys will be excited because honestly, the next one I'm going to do is, is going to be the highly most requested one in the comments by far. I was trying to keep track and this one by a long shot. So I'm going to be doing right after this filming my reaction to the tale of Jenny and Screech, the full version, all three parts. I'm excited to get into that because people have told me that that one is insane when it comes to a story storytelling perspective. And that is kind of what I really liked about higher end besides all of the other stuff. So I'm going to be doing that next. I'm, I'm excited to run that in this rabbit hole with you guys. Again, I appreciate you guys with all the love and support that you guys have given me. I'm truly, truly humbled. I want to tell you guys to make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. But I did create a Patreon after all the love I got. And it's not so I can get paid, but more so if you want to support, that's super helpful to me. It keeps the channel fresh and it keeps the channel moving. And more so because of my anxiety and the brain that I have, I need to be organized. Um, so if you do want to join, it's great. It's not required. It's not expected. Um, but if you do join, there is a, one of the tiers on my Patreon where you can request songs and videos for me to react to. And you will be moved up to the top of the list out of everybody that is requesting. So I greatly appreciate it. Again, I don't expect anything from anybody. I just love the support you guys are giving me in the comments. That's good enough for me. Um, but stay tuned for the next one. Um, it might be another video of another artist before I, I push that out, but I am going to be recording that next. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate the support. I love all of you. And please do remember that good vibes are contagious.